Hi, welcome back. So, what are you making for the nine days? I know I'm breaking my head trying to figure out a different dairy menu for every single night. So, I found this and I'm so excited to share it with you. We're gonna make one dough and then make three different versions of a great finger food that your kids are gonna love. Let's get started. So for the dough, we're gonna start with three and a third cups of all-purpose flour. We're gonna put in one teaspoon of dry yeast, one teaspoon of sugar, and one teaspoon of salt. And we're just gonna take a wooden mixing spoon, works just fine. Because we're using such a small amount of flour, you really don't need to take out your regular mixer. Okay, now that we got that all mixed up, we're going to make a little well in the flour, and we're gonna add one and a half cups of warm water and give it a good mix until it starts forming a dough. Now that we have most of the ingredients pretty much mixed together, I'm gonna get in there with my hands. Once you have the flour and water combined, you're gonna wanna work on your counters. And kids love doing this because it's such a sensory activity for them. It's gooey and gooey and really a lot of fun. You want the dough to start feeling a little light and elasticy. See that? Okay, great. So now that your dough is ready, we're gonna take a clean bowl, grease it. Let's give it a nice spray so it doesn't get hard. Place the dough inside. We're gonna place a fresh dish towel over it and let it rise for about an hour. Once the dough is a double in size, you're ready to use it. Okay, let's get started on these garlic nuts. I have my dough, it's risen for about an hour. I took about half of it, and now we're just gonna roll it out. We're gonna try to make a nice square. Take a nice sharp knife and just give myself a few long strips here. Some of these long ones I'll cut in half. Okay, just gonna take each one, make a nice little knot. I don't mind if some of mine are a little bigger and a little smaller, because then my kid can eat a mommy one or a baby one. I have a half a cup of melted butter here. I'm gonna go to my crushed garlic and we're gonna pop in a few cubes. Now, I'm gonna put in five because I love them super garlicky. Okay, I got my pastry brush here and now we're just gonna brush them. These are gonna bake up and make your kitchen smell amazing. We'll give it a little sprinkle of some parsley. Now, I know that there are a lot of kids out there that freak out whenever you stick a herb on something. But for some reason, with the garlic knots, my kids don't mind. Have some nice kosher salt here. So these guys are ready. We're going to let them sit and rise for another 15 minutes or so, and then we're gonna pop them in a preheated oven at 400 degrees for about 10 minutes. And now for our cheesy breadsticks, we are going to roll out the dough again. Okay, we're going to take that leftover garlic and butter that we had from the garlic knots and just brush it on really nicely. We're gonna add some salt and some black pepper and some onion powder, some dried basil and oregano. Give it a little Italian flavor. And some Parmesan. Okay, we're just gonna slice these. Now we're just gonna twist. We're gonna do the twist. Here we go. You can roll it in the Parmesan and the extra spices that are falling off. Make sure you have a nice few twists here because sometimes they tend to open up in the oven. We're gonna let these rise for about 10, 15 minutes, just like the garlic knots, and then we're gonna pop it in the oven. These go in at 375 for about 12 to 15 minutes. And now we're gonna make some mini spinach calzones. I love this recipe because it's a great way to get some veggies into your kids without them knowing because the vegetables are inside and they're mini, so they're cute. We're gonna start off with some frozen spinach, about half a package, about 10 ounces. About half a package of whipped cream cheese. You can use reduced fat if you'd like. No one will know. Some scallions. About two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. We love the parm. Some salt and black pepper. Okay, we're just gonna give it a good mix. It's 
gonna be so oozy and cheesy. And when they're a little older, you'll tell them, you ate spinach when you were eight. You didn't even know it. Perfect. Okay, we're ready to assemble the mini calzones. We're gonna roll it out. I am using a cookie cutter, but you can use a glass. You can use anything that has a round shape that's sharp enough that's gonna get in there and cut it. There we go. We have our circles here and we're going to fill them. I took about half a teaspoon. This filling alone is so yummy and it doesn't have eggs in it, so you can sneak some. <laughs> Yum. Mm. Okay, don't tell anyone I did that. Now we're gonna go in with our whisk egg right here just so that we can seal the edges. Just go all the way around. And all of these utensils are stuff that kids really like to use. This is like a little paintbrush. It's like super fun. We're just gonna seal them. Bring the edge over. There we go. Look how cute these guys are looking. Love it. Okay, now I'm gonna grab my fork and just to give it that really professional look, and to make sure it's sealed, I'm just gonna press down on the edges. Okay, there we go. We're gonna lay them flat. Let's give them some space because they're still gonna rise and puff up a little bit. We're gonna go in, give it a nice little egg wash so it's nice and shiny when it comes out of the oven. And then, to top it off, we'll sprinkle some more parm. Mmm. We're just gonna pop these guys in the oven. The oven was preheated to 375. It should take about 10 to 12 minutes. You'll see they'll get golden brown and the Parmesan will get a little darker. And then you know they're ready. Wow, this smells so good. So these guys are almost done. We are gonna make them even better. I'm gonna grab some shredded cheese. I have a mixture of mozzarella and cheddar. I'm gonna smush them together, and then we're just gonna sprinkle this on. These are gonna be the cheesiest breadsticks you ever had. We're gonna pop it back in the oven. The oven's still at 375 for about five to seven minutes. If you like it a little crunchier, you can leave it in a little longer. If you just want ooey goodness, five minutes should do it. Oh my gosh, they look so good. Wow. Easy, cheesy, yummy goodness. These smell amazing. The garlic and the herbs and the cheese. I can't wait to try them. There you have it. One dough, three great recipes, all fantastic for kids. You can also prep all of them, stick them in the freezer, and whenever you need a quick meal, 10 minutes in the oven. They're great to have around. I'm not waiting till my kids come home to dig in. Serving this with some marinara sauce. Mmm. Thanks so much for watching, and just remember, subscribe, like, and follow us for more amazing recipes.